I graduated in 1940 in industrial design. We were into the defense era when Roosevelt was doing Lend-Lease and we got into war work. Overnight, literally, we got limitation order M126, which said, thou shalt not touch inventory, and there will, you will do only work with priority assignment. Well, we decided they couldn't throw scrolls at the Japanese or the Germans, so we had to scrounge and find something to do. We didn't touch one stick of metal out there to do anything that we were not allowed to do and we had to find out how we could survive. So this constant adjustment is a feature of my family's history. If you were flexible, you bent, but you didn't break. We never broke and we will never break. So that when we got out of the decorative intellectual challenge of designing and, and learning what a client wanted, we had to learn how to survive World War II and that meant a total readjustment. We became to be known among our industrial friends as Rube Goldbergs. In other words, some screwy thing you didn't know how to do, you went to Rose. And it was through our training in art that we were able to survive the war.